Well, May is American Cheese Month, and this year the state of Wisconsin is celebrating a big cheesy anniversary. Chef Joe Flam is here to tell us more about it. Hi, Chef. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm actually really excited about this segment because I am a native of Wisconsin, so I feel like I know a good amount of cheese. <laughs> tell us a little bit more about American Cheese Month and this anniversary specifically. Well, I get to speak on your homeland today then. Um, so 180 years of making cheese in Wisconsin, pretty incredible. Um, as you know, that's 180 years, that's longer than Wisconsin's even been a state, so we're really excited about it. Oh, it is exciting for sure, absolutely. So how will you be celebrating? So for me, we're using these great local cheeses and we're doing a bunch of fun recipes with them. We're finding awesome cheeses that have our uh, Proudly Wisconsin Cheese Label badge on there and we're doing some really fun stuff with it. Oh, it looks like it is all there for the taking. <laughs> Describe what we see in front of you right now. So uh, my friends at Wisconsin Cheese and I, we did a couple here. We have this beautiful chef's uh, cheese and charcuterie board. We have Gouda cheddar, um, and then we did a really great asparagus gratin for springtime. Pleasant Ridge Reserve on there. One of the most award-winning cheeses of all time made in the United States. And I heard that you have one more special recipe up your sleeve. Is that correct? Something that I've been doing at my restaurant here, Rosemary. I did this beautiful flatbread with stracciatella, a little bit of fresh strawberries, basil, balsamic, um, and olive oil just to finish it out. Oh, it looks amazing. Tell us where we can learn more about this and maybe get some recipes. Yeah, for more information for all these recipes, anything cheese related, go to WisconsinCheese.com. Check it out and it'll get you everything you need. All right, Chef Joe Flam, thank you so much for being with us and representing Wisconsin very well on Midday Maryland. We appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.